If you look at the performance of autonomous drones today, they are still far from human pilot performance in terms of speed, versatility and robustness. Speed is particularly important because currently the battery life of drones is limited to 20 to 30 minutes. However, to fly faster we need faster sensors and faster algorithms. Previous research has shown that event-based cameras can bring up to three orders of magnitude advantages in terms of low latency and low power consumption. However, the compute in those systems usually still happens in conventional hardware. That limits the scope of visual intelligence that can be achieved at that low power and low latency. In this work, for the first time, we combine fast event-based vision with event-based control and put them in a single neural network running on a neuromorphic chip. That allows us to achieve very low latency, fast processing at extremely low power, while at the same time opening up the floor for more advanced vision applications that we can implement in the neural network on chip. So in our prototype system, we interface the neuromorphic chip Loihi which is here in this form of this USB stick, um, to the neuromorphic camera, event-based camera dynamic vision sensor. Um, so now the vision sensor can observe this pattern rotating very quickly and the motor control processing will happen on Loihi before it's interfaced to the rest of the drone plant. The neuromorphic motor controller is realized as a simple, shallow, spiking neuronal network. It receives as input an offset in angle and angular velocity from the event-based vision module. Both offsets are combined and are projected onto an output layer that controls the torque of the drone. The projection is realized with synaptic weights that represent the proportional and derivative gains of the controller. Both sets of weights can be made plastic, enabling adaptive PID control. Adaptation can also be realized in a parallel feed-forward pathway that is added to the output of the controller. The visual module of our neuromorphic controller receives events directly from the dynamic vision sensor. The events are projected from the input space to the half-transform space, where the most active region corresponds to a straight line in the input space. The winner all connectivity of the output layer of the half-transform selects the most active region and projects this activation onto a one-dimensional neural array that corresponds to the angular offset of the line. This angular offset can now be used to control the drone. Speed, versatility and robustness. These are all key elements that are very important if we want to have one day drones that can autonomously complete search and rescue operations, autonomous inspection. To build a map of an unknown environment or monitor infrastructure or natural resources or will allow it to navigate in constrained environments where it needs to quickly detect and classify obstacles around it. My vision is that one day uh, firefighters uh, after uh, an earthquake uh, or a disaster they will uh, arrive and they will deploy a drone. The drone will enter, uh, for example, a collapsed or semi-collapsed building through doors or windows, and then will return to the uh, rescue team with uh, a photorealistic uh, three-dimensional map of the environment where they can then localize the victims and then plan their action um, in order to save these people.